Hey guys, this is a quick review about an EP that came out on June 1st, uh, 2015. Uh, that's Nuclear Assault's Pounder EP. Now, I'm late to the party on this one because of the fact I just really didn't want to even give my opinion on this. Uh, I know this is a EP that a lot of people were looking forward to, and I was too at one point. Like, I was actually like, yeah, let's see some new material. And, really, I don't... I don't see why I ever gave a fuck, because this is like one of those EPs where I'm just like, eh, about it. And I don't know if the guys from Nuclear Assault will ever watch this video, but I really want to say, everything they put out before this, I want to say their Game Over, their Survive album, and their, you know, Handle Care albums, they were all albums that I grew up, you know, listening to early as a metalhead, you know, back when I was maybe 13, 14. And nowadays, like, just looking at this EP, I'm just like, fuck. Like, I even, I used to have the, um, the demo collection that they put out in 2012 on my iPod when I was working, uh, working at church, uh, cutting grass, and I used to listen to that, like, fucking, all the demos were raw, and they were fucking awesome. But just looking at this EP, I'm just not very happy with it. So let me just get right into it, so I don't have to blab around. Uh, this is put out on Glenn Evans' uh, label, I believe, Sipidus, um, or Sidipus Records. And, uh, it was put out on vinyl, and it was put out on <coughs> CD and all that bu bullshit, but, um, like, this is a mediocre EP, I really gotta say, it's really mediocre. Uh, so let me just get into the songs. John's vocals sound pretty good. John, really, he, he's kind of one of those guys that's pretty consistent, and, like, you know, he's not too deteriorated, deteriorated. and the first song, Pounder, really mediocre, I gotta say, mediocre as fuck. So, yeah, that... That annoyed me. Then we move on to the track, uh, Lies. And then Lies is a shorter, one, the second shortest track on the album at three minutes. It's a little faster, still pretty boring, not too much to see, you know, here with this track. And if you, if you really want a good album, go back to the 80s and look, listen to that shit. This is just not a good track at all. Uh, Analog Man sounds like a mediocre slam poetry track instead of a fucking thrash metal song. And I don't even understand what the fuck they're trying to do with that. Like, commentating about, you know, modern uh, social media craze, you know, whatever. Fucking Jesus, can you pick a better topic than that? That's just one of the stupidest goddamn topics you could have picked. And you could have wrote about it so much better. You could have been like, instead of being like, Fuck Facebook, shove it up your ass. Fuck your fucking phone, shove it up your ass. Yeah, like, basically that's what it's like. I'll, I'll read you a snippet of the lyrics, just so I can... Get across how fucking annoying it is. Nifty little gadget you got running your world. Tell me when's the last time you spoke to a girl. Sounds like something a metalcore band would have as fucking lyrics. The chorus? Like, you know, like, the, the, the beginning to the chorus, turn it off. They sing that four times. I'm an analog man in a digital world. Get fucked. That's... It's just mediocre shit, and they could have done so much better. To see Danny play bass on this, why the fuck did you play bass on this? Go do Brutal Truth. Go do, like, you know, anything else. Go back to any, like, you know, Nocturnal Hellstorm. Go do, like, you know, fucking Evil Wrath. Like, I'm just even looking at his metal archives. Fuck, Nunfuck Ritual, Venomous Concept. Uh, you know, any of these bands are good. Not, not this fucking EP though, this EP is just, oh, fuck, I ain't, I don't know, I don't know. And then the last track, um, you know, Died in Your Arms, uh, probably my favorite track on the EP, but really that's not saying much. Like, it's a slower starting track, as you can hear, they're playing in the background, but it's still not that great. So, really, I'm giving this EP... A 65, no, fuck that, a fucking 63 out of 100. They could have done so much better, but they went for the most mediocre shit ever. It sounds like the worst nuclear assault songs, all stuck on the one EP. And really, that's, that's, this is like, just bad. Like, listen. That sounds like 1992 Danzig, like, how the gods kill Danzig, and 
down it leads into John singing. I don't even know what they're trying to do on this album. Or this EP, or this fucking abomination. Uh, I might listen to, uh, the fucking song, I Died in Your Arms. Maybe, maybe I'll listen to that at some point in my life again. But everything else, can just know. Just not gonna be on my repertoire of listening at all. So yeah, I can understand why people fucking duped all over uh, their 2005 album. I can see why people did that. I didn't like that album very much either. And if people pull down your, their pants and fucking take a humongous shit on this EP, I understand. I didn't really like it at all. So yeah, if you guys liked it, I understand why everyone wants to have more, uh, you know, nuclear assault to listen to. But really, I don't see much point to the EP. So yeah, guys, peace the fuck out and go find some better thrash metal. There obviously is some.